I'm meteorologist Topper Shuck for the USA Today.com. Looking likely for severe weather in the Midwest. We'll uh, break it down for you. In fact, big thunderstorms from the plains to the Great Lakes. Rain and showers in New England. Afternoon storms in the Ohio Valley and the Mid Atlantic. And some of these storms from the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, are going to be severe. Again, we'll show you that to you in a second. And then afternoon storms and, ro and showers in the Northern Rockies, just in the Northern Rockies, Montana particularly. In fact, much of Montana under a slight risk of severe weather on Wednesday, but we're really keying in on this area in the Midwest. South of Chicago through most of Illinois, Indiana, back into Ohio. That's a moderate risk. When we see a moderate risk, when the Storm Prediction Center puts out a moderate risk, that's pretty serious stuff. There's going to be some tornadoes in here. And I know on the on the Twitter sphere and the social media, you've been hearing about the derecho. Yes, it's possible. Derechos are not that uncommon for the Midwest either. We are looking at a line of thunderstorms that's going to develop. Could it be a derecho? Maybe, maybe not. But either way, <laughs> either way, the moderate risk of severe weather exists through much of Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. Okay. Model forecast in the east. Pretty quiet in the morning on Wednesday. A few leftover showers, though, in northern New England. Now, we'll put this into motion. Early in the morning, you could have a few showers in Chicago, but the best chance will be later on in the day. This is now 11.30 Central Time. Have some showers in Minneapolis and also Wisconsin. I think these storms are a little further north. They should be a little further south, I think. And then look what happens. It's called a little complex of thunderstorms. This is 6.30 uh, East Coast Time, uh, 5.30 in the evening, uh, in the uh, central time zone around Chicago, we get a cluster of thunderstorms. Not necessarily a derecho. Remember, derecho has to be a long line, 200 miles long, with consistent winds of over 70 miles an hour. But this is going to be a massive little complex of thunderstorms from Madison to Chicago uh, back to northern Illinois, and that will produce plenty of damage. So that's why you're under a moderate risk. Then these things slide essentially eastward into northern Ohio, maybe Detroit. Maybe Cleveland and maybe even Pittsburgh and Buffalo. This little complex holds together. Again, not technically a derecho, but it's a complex of thunderstorms that hold together and traverse, you know, almost uh, 900 miles eastward. That will do plenty of damage. Out to the far west, just some afternoon showers in through uh, Montana, Wyoming. I think you'll be shower free down toward Colorado. Some clouds in Seattle, 63. A few showers in Portland, 67. But Nice in Boise. Afternoon storms in Great Falls. Look at Salt Lake, 98 with sunshine. Mid 60s in San Francisco, near 70 in LA, but very hot as soon as you get away from the water. 112 in Phoenix and 107 rather in Vegas. Over 100 in El Paso, approaching 100 with sunshine in Albuquerque and sunshine in Denver, 92. We're okay in the Plain States too. Bismarck Pier. North Platte, great, 70s and 80s. Minneapolis, you might have a shower in the morning. Des Moines, you could have a shower in the morning. And then Chicago, 81, you are going to have big thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. So, yeah, you'll have some sun during the day, but get ready for severe weather in Chicago. 97, St. Louis, 90 with sunshine in Kansas City. Mid-90s, Oklahoma City, Dallas, low 90s, Houston and Brownsville. Mid-90s in New Orleans, pretty toasty in the southeast. Uh, some thunderstorms possible, Atlanta. Nashville, look at 96 in Nashville, 93 in Atlanta, and in the 90s, except for Miami and Florida. Nice in Charleston, 93, afternoon storms in Charlotte, not a washout though. Greensboro and Raleigh, same deal, about 90. 89 in DC, some afternoon storms, 70s in New York, only 66 in Boston. It hasn't even turned warm yet in Boston, really. Well, not for more than a couple of days. And then showers and rain in Burlington. Thunderstorms possible in Buffalo late, thunderstorms possible in Pittsburgh late. And thunderstorms possible in Detroit late. And in those areas, there could be severe weather. The main threat would be hail, strong winds, and isolated tornadoes. Again, a moderate risk of severe weather. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and we see a moderate risk, you're going to see some severe weather before Wednesday is out. I'm meteorologist Topper Shutt for the USA Today.com.